The final piece of understanding how Jasper thinks is understanding his ability to identify writing patterns. Jasper loves following and continuing patterns. Functionally, he's always asking, is there a pattern here that I could or should be following? For example, let's say we opened a document in Jasper and wrote the following, one, two, three, four in bullet points. Jasper will be highly likely to recognize and continue the pattern by writing five, six, seven, eight in bullet points. Inside of a document, sometimes Jasper will repeat himself. Oftentimes this happens when starting out before a pattern is set. Let's look at an example where I type the following and then ask Jasper to keep writing by hitting the compose button or command J. If I write something like Kyle Williams, that's me, is an average height man with an above average beard and a below average golf game. He lives in Kansas City with a wife, two kids, two dogs, and two birds. Well, I know it's a handful. When I hit compose, Jasper is asking himself, based on my instructions and the text I've been given, what should I write next in this sequence? Jasper is always asking, is there a pattern here that I could or should be following? In this example, Jasper would likely think of the following options for how you want him to write next. The first is to repeat. The user wrote a paragraph and wants me to write the same paragraph again. The second option is to continue. The user wants me to continue writing more information about Kyle. This looks like a personal bio. Because I don't know exactly who Kyle is, I'll start writing information that imitates other personal bios that I've read online. Third, Jasper could start new. The user wants me to write another bio about another person imitating the style of this bio right here that's been written about Kyle. It's likely that you only want one of these and might be disappointed if Jasper goes a different route than you expected. By providing more instructions or a clear pattern to follow, you can greatly increase the chances of Jasper doing what you want. Instead of writing the paragraph over and over, which is probably not what you're looking for, try this. To direct Jasper to continue writing about Kyle, I could frame this next section by writing a heading entitled Kyle's Growing Up Years, then hitting Compose. As you can see, Jasper clearly understood that I wanted him to write about Kyle's growing up years. You can also see the pattern Jasper is modeling. He's thinking something like, the user wants me to write a section heading about Kyle's life, and then a few sentences describing it, over and over. The more times he sees this pattern, the more likely Jasper is to continue it. If Jasper isn't writing the content that you want, ask yourself these questions. What is the pattern Jasper is trying to follow right now? Can I give more instructions or set a better pattern to direct his outputs? Do I need to give Jasper more information as input in order for him to write what I'm looking for? You now know how Jasper thinks, acts, and even what he looks for as he is writing content for you. As you set out to use Jasper as a writing assistant, keep all of this in mind so that you can consistently get great results.